Hello, this is Gary Rosenzweig with Mac Most Now. Let's ring in the new year by talking about ringtones. A brief history of iPhone ringtones. When the iPhone first came out there were 25 built-in ringtones and you couldn't add any more. Soon some hacks allowed you to add your own ringtones. But then there was a cat and mouse game between the iPhone firmware and hackers who wanted to add ringtones. You can add them one day and then there will be a firmware update the next day that disabled that. Pretty soon then there was an official way to add iPhone ringtones. And that is you had to actually buy a song from the iTunes Music Store and then pay additional amount to be able to make a ringtone out of that song. And it only worked with some songs. But then eventually an update to GarageBand allowed us to add anything we want as a ringtone. You can basically use GarageBand to make your own ringtone and put it on your iPhone. Let's take a look at how to do that. You'll need the most recent version of GarageBand, GarageBand 08, which comes with iLife 08. You get that on any new Mac you buy right now. And if you have an older Mac, you're going to have to upgrade to the most recent version of iLife. Once you have GarageBand 08 and you're up to date with the software updates, then you can go ahead and launch it and create a new music project. You'll be asked to choose just a name for the song. So let's call it My Ringtone. And leave the rest of the stuff just normal. Okay, so if this is the first time you're using GarageBand, there's a couple things you want to do to start. First thing is you want to close this keyboard window if it appears. Next thing you want to do is get rid of the default grand piano track. Just do that by selecting it and it turns green and pressing the keys Command Delete. And it goes away. So now I have a completely blank GarageBand document. Then you want to click on the music loop button down here. That opens up a little tray of some categories of music loops. Click on one, say bass, and Look through the list on the right and find a bass track that you like. So like that and I'll preview for you and you can drag it into the main document there. And I'll create a new track for you, name it, and it will put the loop there. What you can do once you have that is you can go ahead and it's kind of tricky but you click on the upper right corner of it and you can extend the loop out a little bit. So extend it out. Now that we have a loop extended out for a little bit we can play it and sample it here. We could stop. We could go ahead and click on this little loop button here. That brings up this yellow bar. That's a looping bar that um, is going to be used by the export to ringtone function to determine what ring what part of the song to actually export. So we're going to expand that to the entire thing. Actually, we're going to expand a little bit past that. So that way the ringtone plays the music and there's a little bit of silence and then it plays it again. Once we have that, we go up to the menu at the top and the menu at the top uh, there's one called share. We click on that and it has a Pull down menu and the second option there is send ringtone to iTunes. Now we have the ringtone here in iTunes and an older one that I created, the same name. And what will happen at this point is that the next time you sync with your iPhone, uh, it should bring that right over into your iPhone as a possible ringtone to be played. Uh, you can go ahead and customize that by selecting your iPhone and uh, changing your ringtone preferences. By default it should sync but you can also say which ones to sync or not to sync any at all. Now suppose we want to move beyond simple music loops and we actually want to do something like say record some audio. After all you can assign ringtones to various people in your address book. So it might be interesting to have some very specific ringtones that tell you who's calling. Let's take a look at that. So back here with a blank GarageBand uh, song called My Ringtone, we're actually going to add an audio track that's recorded from the microphone on our Mac. The way we do that is we click the plus sign down here to add a new track. Then we're going to, instead of selecting Software Instrument, we're going to select Real Instrument Track and create it. That will create this track called No Effects. On the right you have some choices of, of uh, what you want to be uh, this track to be. You can select vocals for instance. You can select no effects or you can select a special effect there. We'll look at those in a second. Uh, once you've selected that you can now actually record something or record from the microphone. So let's, uh, let's press the record button and record something. Incoming call from work. Okay so now that we've recorded this by pressing this big red button down here twice to start and stop we now have our own voice saying Incoming call from work. Great. And we can actually export this as a ringtone. Or we can actually jazz it up a bit because you can do multiple tracks in GarageBand. So for instance we can go ahead and add some sort of uh, bass track.
Eh, maybe something more upbeat. Like that. There you go. And then maybe a little bit of drums. And we'll lower the volume on that. And now the ringtone sounds like this. I'm going to stretch this loop out to the end. Incoming call from work. There you go. You've got a very unique uh, ringtone right now that uh, certainly won't be confused with anybody else's uh, in the meeting or movie theater where your phone rings. And, um, and it also tells you who's calling. Uh, of course, we do the same thing here. We do share and we send ringtone to iTunes and it will send it right there. And now we've got a unique ringtone. We can record multiple ones of these. Uh, call from work, call from home, call from your mom, whatever you want to do. Or you can maybe just do different pieces of music for each one of those and try to remember the code yourself. Also, if you select your voice track there, there's various effects that you can assign to it. Uh, so you click on it and then you go ahead and click on the I button for information and you'll see the basic track, no effects there. You can switch that to say vocals and you can basically uh, give it something else like um, mouse voice and then you could uh, play it back. Let's mute the other tracks. There you go. So you can do a little few, few different things with your voice like that uh, to basically uh, specialize it and um, uh, make it more unique. So that's how easy it is to make new ringtones with GarageBand 08. We also have some ringtones that we pre-made and they're already in the format that you need to add them to iTunes and put them right on your iPhone. You can find those at macmost.com slash ringtones. Until next time this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now. <laughs>